This is a Swiss Army knife. Now I know what you're thinking. It's not red, it's not small, it's not chic. In fact, it doesn't look like the Swiss Army knife you know and love. That is this. Now this one is famous the world over since Karl Elsner developed it at the end of the 19th century. It's actually an officer's knife. And alongside all the usual blades and screwdrivers, it has a corkscrew because officers drink wine. It has toothpick because they need to clean their teeth after meals. And it has tweezers because you never know when an officer is going to need to pluck his eyebrows in the middle of nowhere. Now, that might be the Swiss Army knife you take home with you, but this is the one the soldiers use. It's bigger, it's meaner, it's greener. No corkscrew, no toothpick, and certainly no tweezers. If they have a splinter, they cut it out with a blade. And it's the blade here that is crucial because this one has a one thumb blade so that you can open it one-handed without scrabbling around to get the blade out of the knife. That means you can face combat single-handed, but of course, Swiss soldiers haven't faced combat for about 200 years or so. So what exactly do they use the one thumb blade for? Sticks. Because when they're out in the middle of nowhere and they need to grill their sausage, first they have to whittle their stick so that they can stick the sausage on the end of it and then grill it and eat it. This is a blade for emergency stick whittling. So we have two Swiss army knives. One for soldiers who want to whittle their sticks. Two for officers who need to drink their wine. It's your choice.